poultry keeping is today one of the most promising farming ventures for farmers seeking returns in a short period of time. However, with a crowded market and high production costs, many are now focusing on exotic birds as they create a niche for themselves in the poultry industry. Is our very own Dennis Ocheno with this week's Smart Farm. <laughs> When everybody started keeping chicken, Babu Mudamia went for ornamental buds. Today, he is the talk of town when it comes to keeping these special buds here in Kajado County. Not even the scorching sun can stop Mbabu Mudamia from taking pride in his ornamental buds, which he rears at this farm in Kiserian, Kajado County. Here, buds of all colors, <laughs> sizes, body structure, and melodic tunes. Invite visitors to this one-acre farm. It is a passion that has run through his family for over five decades. Yeah, with the exotic bands, you have to. It's where I met different people, different ideas. Yeah, from male, I was just keeping chicken and the rabbits. But when I came to Nairobi, I met different people with different ideas about ornamental birds. So I changed from uh, rabbits, the normal chicken, to ornamental birds. His farm houses hundreds of types of ornamental birds, which include peacocks, quills, guinea fowls, ducks, ornamental chicken, peasants, peafowls, partridges, pigeons, king pigeons, fan-tailed and yellownecks, among others. According to Mbabu, ornamental bird farming is a highly regulated venture. Once from here, you have to get a payment from the KWS. If I sell to you, you have to go to the KWS, you apply. We are in the system, the Tawus farm is in the system. So you apply, you come and sell to you. You need a permanent difference. Because they have also there, they do the, the quarterly uh, assessment. You need to tell them how many do you have, how many have you produced, how many have you sold to who. From the experience and advice of his friends who are abroad, this 64-year-old farmer has managed to take care of the birds in their new environment. I've been keeping a bird called silver peasants for three years. Ring eggs and fertilized eggs. When I got a Mzungu, who was an expert of that, he told me to look up a bush praise, eh? where it can think it's in the psychologically, it's the bush, and they produced. So I think that's why I was looking for a place like this, where I can plant trees, you have the environment like uh, the wilderness, and they produce. All the birds are kept on a free-range basis, giving them room to roam around akin to their natural environment. He has however provided an enclosure using nets and wire mesh to prevent those that are likely to fly away from the farm. He has also developed a rather ingenious way of dealing with predators at his farm. The, this year is you can get snakes. So what I've done, I've put some rabbits on the ground, free range. So in case of any, any snakes come appearing or whatever, it will attack the rabbit before the peacocks. Rabbit is cheaper. So I've kept them free range. Three years ago, visitors from Kajiado and other parts of the country would throng this farm to witness the exotic birds in stock, with each adult paying a maximum of 500 shillings per visit. The COVID-19 pandemic, however, disrupted this trend and he had no choice but to close the farm to the public. Babu is in the process of giving the farm a facelift and is confident of opening its doors once again. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.